This video demonstrates how to recalibrate an ECM using Cummins Insight. It assumes that a calibration has already been loaded to the calibration workspace. The ECM code search feature available in Insight version 803 can be used and is recommended to download calibrations directly from Insight to the calibration workspace. We have connected to the ECM already in this demonstration. You'll note at the top the Insight version I'm using, the engine model, the engine serial number, and the current ECM code installed. We'll click on calibration selection. We'll click on ECM. Once again, ECM code search has already been used to download the calibration to the calibration workspace. So I'll click on ECM. I'll go to the calibration workspace. Click on the plus sign next to calibration workspace. Click on the plus sign next to the month and date. I will click on automotive. I will click on the plus sign next to the ISX 12G. That is the engine model that we were using as an example in this video. Now if you're not sure which ECM part number uh, you have, you can um, click on uh, ECM features and parameters. And we'll wait while that information is being downloaded. Click on the plus sign next to system ID and data plate. Click on the plus sign next to ECM information and ECM part number is listed in that category. So the ECM part number is 2897462. We'll go back to calibration selection. We know now that the ECM part number is 2897462. At this point, uh, some errors may pop up if this is the first time you're calibrating with your laptop. Um, those errors will involve uh, certification codes. If you do get those errors, simply go to Tools, Calibration Selection, Certification Codes, and you may have all of these um, certification codes that are currently in the left, my right hand column in uh, the left hand column. If that is the case, simply click this double arrow, add all, and move all those certification codes to the right hand column. Once those are moved to the right hand column, selected certification codes, hit OK. And that should address any certification code error you may have. Once again, you may encounter that when you click, when you go from this plus to uh, clicking on the certain ECM part number that's involved. Okay, back to this specific example. Uh, we have previously, once again, through ECM code search, downloaded the calibration DH10001 revision 13. You'll note that uh, there's a lot of other ECM codes listed here. Those are all the ones that are available for that ECM part number in this engine model. Uh, but note only there's only one without the pink background. That means that that is the only one that the file is actually loaded and available to be used to be recalibrated and downloaded. None of these pink ones are available. Only the non-pink ones are available. So I'll left click on the DH10001 which is available because it doesn't have the pink behind it. Then I will right click to get the pop-up menu. I will click on transfer to ECM and we will start the process. My first pop-up window is the calibration download wizard. Just gives me some warnings. I'll click next. The next uh, window is system ID and data plate where I can view and or modify the system and data plate information. Click next here. And it's another pop-up here, adjustment confirmation, adjusting ECM, you're about to make changes to the ECM. While adjusting the ECM, do not change the key state unless instructed to do so. Click OK to continue the download or click cancel to leave the ECM unchanged. Well, I do want to calibrate, so I will click OK. And then I will get the ECM calibration download wizard calibration transfer status window. 
and I will highlight uh, these sections through the process. It is approximately 11 minute uh, process that will be edited for uh, this video for time purposes. So only the highlights in each uh, step will be uh, captured. So you can see that uh, we have already gone through a couple processes. Uh, the status window uh, shows the progress for each one. The one that takes all the time is uh, actually calibrating the ECM. So these are all preparatory steps to do so. It's important to really keep track of what the status window that I've highlighted in blue says and uh, really not do anything else. If you try to do something else, uh, like click on one of these next, this next button before it's early, it'll, it'll just give you an error um, and a warning that, uh, to not do that. So it's, it's fail safe in that regard. So now we're transferring the ECM calibration. Once again, this is what takes um, the majority of the time. You can see that it's estimating that it'll take six minutes uh, to do so. And once again, we will edit portions of this video for time purposes tonight. Uh, you can step away if necessary. And once again, the estimated time here uh, where you can kind of come back and, and check on the status. Okay, it's saying we have about seven seconds remaining, 98% through the transfer. Um, now you can say, see it's at 100%. Once again, we'll just sit tight and keep an eye out on the status uh, window at the top. Okay, now we're restoring data plate parameters. That was quick. Restoring adjustable parameters. Closing ECM. That's been done. Okay, pop up to please turn the key off and click OK. So I will do that. Get my uh, timer window here that tracks that 30 seconds for us. Alright, please turn the key switch on and then click OK. So I'll turn the key switch on, I'll click OK. Alright, this is what we want to see and what we see most of the time. Calibration transfer res uh, results, everything was uh, successful. Um, if it was not, I believe it gives you uh, a place where you can save what wasn't. If you want it, can go back and, and make those manual edits if necessary. So I'll hit OK there and notice that uh, I'm, I'm still not ready to click next at this window yet. I'm still uh, looking at this top and saying uh, it's saying don't do anything. Okay, see it changed now. Calibration is completed. Please wait for the module to automatically and then select next to continue. So now I can click on that next button and once again I have the summary again of everything being successful here in the bottom. Click next. Um, Please select finish to close the ECM wizard. So I have finish. And I am done. So I hope uh, that this video has helped with uh, understanding what's all involved in recalibrating uh, an ECM using Insight uh, and the calibration workspace um, from a calibration downloaded using the ECM code search. Thanks for your time and attention.